Hello, Klaus here, and thank you for taking a look at my channel. If you're not subscribed already, please consider doing so if you like the content. So in today's episode, I want to talk to you about filmmakers, people like me, people like you, that are sometimes in a hurry to do the projects. And that means sometimes that there is some junk in the background we do not want there at all. So how can we remove junk from our shot? Pretty easy. I did already do two other videos about this topic. And if you want to watch those or you haven't watched those, please watch those before because this is a different take on that. And the two other methods might help you even better. Anyway, before I start rambling about junk, let's just see how we can fix that and remove junk from our shot. We do not really want part three. Okay, so here we are back in DaVinci Resolve and um, we're going to have a look at this clip here. So I was doing this uh, documentary in my garden and then I didn't see that somebody put a rubber duck in the background. And I thought that my work was ruined. Um, but we can actually fix that if we just go to Fusion. By the way, here in uh, Fusion we'll only be needing one reviewer. So we can uh, toggle here and we only have one viewer. And we can also drag to make it a bit easier to do what we are about to do right now. Okay, so let's start by taking the paint tool here and then just drag that and let go. Okay, and um, let's go over here and make sure that we are on stroke. Okay, and then we'll just go here and um, make sure that we are in clone mode. And uh, let's see what we need. Okay, so one thing, we need to clone the footage from somewhere and we can do that by pushing Alt and click and then we can move around taking samples from different places and clone it on the dock. I'll just make the size a bit bigger because it was a little small. So, there we go. Okay, and we'll have some grass from here and cover up the rubber duck here. Yeah, easy peasy, right? And let's have a little more grass here. So now we have cloned the grass on the rubber duck and it's gone. So let's go to the edit tab and have a look here. So there you see, all gone, nice and easy. So that's that's kind of easy. So, but what if the same clip had movements? We would need to track that in some way. So um, let's have a look at that as well. You see, we have this pan movement. Okay, so uh, let's again go into Fusion. And uh, remember to start at the beginning of the clip. And by the way, if you toggle here on clips, you can jump in between your different fusion clips if you wanted to go and change something on the first clip. But we don't want to that, do that. So we'll go to the second clip here and I'll just rearrange our lines. And of course, we could just drag it down, but let's learn something new. Pushing uh, control and spacebar will have this menu up. And of course, we'll just type in paint and say like that and then just add that. There we go. So the procedure is the same. Choose the clone tool. Make sure you are on stroke. And um, again, let's uh, this time make the size of the brush a bit bigger. And uh, let's clone the grass on the duck. And it's a uh, I mean, it's a nice little technique, I think. I'll take some grass from here. A little more. And whoop, take some grass from here and remove the rest of the duck. Just like that. Okay, so now we, we need to track our rubber duck or the grass on the rubber duck. 
And we do that by going to the modifiers. And here we have all the strokes I actually did. And by clicking the arrow and then highlighting it, we'll connect them all together. And then we'll just need to go here and push the paint group. And we'll just group all these together to one group. So if we just double click here, we can of course go down here and show all the subgroups we have here, but we're not going to use that at all. We'll go to the center and right click, and then we'll go to modify width and then track position. Okay, and then of course we have this empty space here, but we'll just write media in one instead of, and then we'll simply just push the forward analyzing forward button and it will analyze our footage. And uh, I think I'll just make a cut somewhere here to make this process a little bit shorter. So when I'll be back, it will be in the editing tab. Okay, so now we are in the editing tab. And here we have a look. Rubber duck gone, very lovely. So one thing left to do, of course, to give our new movie some color grading. So first off, I'll actually just uh, use a lot. And then actually in the new version or in the full version, there is some new LUTs. This is the LUT from the Pocket Cinema Camera 4K. I, and I kind of like that. So I'll just add that. And if you push uh, Shift and S, you will add a note before your LUT. And then we can just go in here and I'll just take down the lift. I'll lift the gamma and I'll use a little bit of the gain. And that's all I'm going to do. Hello, I hope you found that video useful. If you have not subscribed to my channel already, please consider doing so. And if you like what I'm doing on my YouTube channel and you want to support me to make even greater and better things for you, please take a look at my Patreon page. The link down in the description will take you right there. Again, thank you for watching. Keep filming, keep learning, and keep sharing. Bye.